Let's find this binomial probability using the calculator. So in this example, I've got 82% of college students who love statistics. We're gonna interview 50 of those and we wanna know what the probability that 40 of them love stats. So I'm gonna go through this binomial experiment and identify the pieces that I'm gonna to need to plug this into the calculator. First of all, what is a success? A success would be a student who loves stats. And a failure would be a student who doesn't love stats. So I'll just go love with a line through it. So who doesn't love stats? N is the number of trials. In this case, a trial is asking an individual student. So the number of trials is 50 because there are 50 of them. The probability of a success, any one student has an 82% chance of loving stats. So that's gonna be a 0.82. Now, if we were using this formula here, I would also need Q, the probability of a failure. Q is gonna be one minus P. Well, this is the probability of anything else, right? So if 82% love stats, that means that the rest, 100% minus 82%, or 18 don't love statistics. But I do also need for the calculator the number of successes that we're looking for, and the number of successes is 40 out of that 50. Now I'm gonna put this together in the formula first, but then we're gonna use the binomial probability function in your calculator. So in our formula, the probability of 40, 50 choose 40, and then P is 0.82. That's the probability of a success, and I want 40 of those. And then a probability of a failure, that's gonna be 0.18. If 40 love stats, that means that we've got 10 who don't. So I'm gonna raise that to the 10th power. Let's put this into our calculator. So in the calculator, we're gonna to go to the distribution menu to find that function. So I go second followed by vars to get distribution. It's actually towards the bottom of my list. So I'm gonna arrow up to find that binomial PDF. There it is, mine's on letter A. Once I find it, I hit enter and it's gonna prompt me for the things that I just identified. And I already have them in here. So the number of trials I typed in is 50. P, the probability of a success I've typed in is 0.82 and our random variable X is going to be 40, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste this. Now, if your calculator didn't prompt you, you're gonna type exactly what you see here after the binomial PDF, 50 followed by a comma, which is above the seven, and then the probability of a success, and then 40. And then we hit enter, and I've got that probability of 0 0.1309, so about, 13%. There's another way to compute these using Desmos, which is such a nice way to go. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.